New at 11 on Pittsburgh's Action News 4. He was loved by his teammates. He was loved by his coaches. A college soccer player killed in an icy crash. He was a person that gave more than he received. Tonight, a community mourning the loss of an outstanding young man whose life was cut short. This is Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Our whole soccer family was together. All the players, all the parents. Together Saturday for what turned out to be the final time. Smiling in this photo with no idea it would be their last. The winter storm that slammed the East Coast this weekend claimed 38 lives. One of them belonging to a Geneva College soccer player whose car slid on black ice and straight into a telephone pole. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Kelly Brennan is joining us live. And Kelly, hundreds of people, hundreds and hundreds of people turned out tonight to say goodbye. Wendy, these people took up an area of two blocks standing outside of that funeral home tonight to pay their final respects to a young man of incredible character. This man is a standout student athlete from Penn Hills High School who carried on his talents and hard work at Geneva College. Nate Faracco is pictured far left, celebrating Saturday night at the Geneva Sports Banquet with his soccer teammates and their families. We were together and we celebrated the season, we celebrated the seniors, we celebrated each other. Um, so it was such a, a, a beautiful night. And then to get the news that the accident occurred, uh, with how close we are, it just really shattered all the players on the team. Just hours later, Faraco was killed in a car accident. I actually hugged Nate because uh, we gave him an award uh, at about, you know, quarter to 10, 10 o'clock. Said bye to his parents and uh, that was the last time I saw Nate. Head coach Gary Dunda says Faraco was driving other teammates back to campus after an indoor soccer game unaffiliated with the school. They were near Evans City when the car hit a patch of ice. It went into a pole. An 18-year-old Faraco was killed. In his short time at Geneva, he made an impact both on and off the field. A person that is looking for a Christian education, a person that has high academic standards, and a person that has passion about the game of soccer. Uh, and Nate embodied all the three of those things in spades. He's a 2015 graduate of Penn Hills, where he was valedictorian and a three-sport athlete. A life so young that achieved so much. When you love someone, it, it hurts, and um, that's how we feel about Nate. Two other players who were in the car were treated and released from the hospital. They are both okay. A fourth person in that car was not injured. Now, Geneva College is providing counseling for anyone who needs it. They are also in the process of planning a celebration of life service for Nate. Right now, there is also an effort in Penn Hills to name the soccer scoreboard after Nate as well. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.